Hello everyone, today we have another video brought to you by Danais Electrical Services. Today we will be showing you how to do a continuity test using a multimeter. Right? So we will be doing a continuity test on this small piece of electrical wire right here. Okay. So the first thing you want to know is how to connect your multimeter. Always the common is for our block, right? And the red, normally there is two connections for the red. This one says 10 amp, which is to measure current, electrical current that is within the 10 amp range. And we have our other connection here for our voltage, our resistance, diode, ring tests and microamp and milliamp okay so let's put it in that one right there because we are doing a continuity test and doing the continuity test we will either need our resistance tester or our ohmmeter or to do a ring test because our ohmmeter is what we use to measure our resistance but this is a multimeter so it measure um resistance it measures voltage it measures current and so forth right the next thing we want to know is which one of these selection we will use so i'm going to show you two ways how to do the continuity test the first one is using just a regular ohmmeter and by telling the resistance you will know if you have continuity or you have no con or if you have no continuity okay so generally let's see if i can get this to stand okay good so generally in an electric circuit or electrical circuit a good conductor or a very good conductor will have zero a very low resistance or zero resistance right so a good conductor have very low resistance or no resistance so to know if we have continuity that means we will have a very low resistance and we will have no resistance and if we have no continuity continuity we will have a very high resistance so the multimeter will show overload which is what it is showing right now so if there is no continuity it will show infinite we will have infinity resistance or it will show overload so let's test this piece of wire here so we're going to put one of our terminal here and then we put our next terminal on the next end and if you see our resistance goes to zero which means that we have continuity right so we take that off that means we have a break in our circuit and you see it moves to overload right but when we have the multimeter there is an easier way to do it than to always look at the resistance that we reading of the resistance you see that little wave speaker looking thing right there that is the one that we do for us and also i must say it is good to test our terminal like put our terminal together and test it first before we test a piece of wire because sometimes our multimeter might be giving trouble or the connection is not connected properly so we need to test it first to make sure we don't get wrong reading so we test it we have continuity so we hear a sound right remove it no continuity no sound continuity we hear a sound right so now it's time to do it on this piece of wire so one connection on one hand and then a next connection on the other end so we have continuity and we also realize that or we are getting a zero reading and we're getting a sound that means we have continuity remove it no continuity continuity breaking our circuit no breaking our circuit breaking our circuit okay so there you have it and that's how you do a continuity test using a multimeter okay guys thank you for watching this video and for more videos like these electrical related videos please feel free to subscribe to my channel the nice electrical services thank you